First and most important thing to projecting any financial model is revenue. So do detailed projection of revenue using revenue table. Then cost comes and then cash flow statements and balance sheet. Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss step-by-step -step approach on how to learn financial modeling. Step 1. Basic financial concept. Before diving into financial modeling, ensure you have good understanding of the financial concepts such as financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, time value of money concept, key accounting ratios, say debtor turnover ratios, credit turnover ratios, asset turnover ratios, coverage ratios, etc. Step 2. Understand how to read and analyze financial statements as they are the foundation of the financial modeling. Learn how these three statements are interconnected. Step 3. Understand cost driver and revenue driver of the business for which you want to prepare financial model. Example of revenue drivers are, say you want to estimate revenue for the telecom company. So what would be revenue driver here? The revenue driver would be growth in the number of subscribers, ARPU, churn rate, etc. Cost drivers. What are the direct and indirect costs required in the manufacturing of product and delivery of services? The cost of goods sold, salaries, selling general marketing expenses, admin costs, and other costs required to earn revenue. Step 4. Build strong foundation in Excel. Interlinking of the cells. Basic and advanced level of Excel formulas. Say, if statement, we look up creation of drop-down function, sensitivity analysis, goal seek, etc. Step 5. Start with putting historical financial data of business in Excel. Interlinking of all information which is coming from the other statement. Make your model dynamic. Say, if you're linking cash balance in the balance sheet, rather than hard coding this number, link it from the cash flow statement. Step 6. Projection of future numbers. In line with the historical financial statements, project each line item for the future using estimation of the growth, etc. First and most important thing to projecting any financial model is revenue. So do detailed projection of revenue using revenue driver. Then cost comes and then cash flow statements and balance sheet. In the process of projection of these three statements, you would require to prepare some key schedule, say depreciation, amortization schedule, debt schedule, etc. Step 7. Preparation of output. Link key numbers to the output tab from the projected statement. Depending upon what output you require, link financial data from the projected statement. Say, if you want to calculate project IR, so you first need to calculate free cash flows. And to calculate free cash flows, you're supposed to link operating profits, capex, working capital change, depreciation, amortization expenses. All these numbers will come from the projected financial statements. Step 8. Calculate required Required output, say IRR, NPV, etc. Step 9. Run sensitivity analysis on the final output to see how your output is changing with the changes in the key assumptions. Step 10. And the most important step. Practice, practice and practice. Do the practice of financial modeling on different different companies and industries. Friends, if you follow this approach of learning financial modeling within short span of time, you would be proficient in this and you would be ready to apply for the job in the finance domain. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. For more instructional based videos like this, stay tuned and stay connected with us. All the best.